What's up? Let's go. Good morning to you. Hope you're doing well. Listen, I'm glad you're here. What we're going to talk about today is a framework that I learned 16, 17 years ago that will literally help you break out of the matrix. And what I'm talking about there is literally just the freaking rat race that most people find themselves in where every day they're just doing what they got to do to pay the bills. And yeah, maybe if they're ambitious, they try to make some extra money. But how do you actually break free and have real freedom and autonomy in your life? to free you up for time, to spend with family, to make memories, to spend with friends, to make contributions to society and make an impact and to do the things that God's called you to do. Well, this is going to help you to do that. This is a framework that's so powerful. You may have seen it before. It's the cash flow quadrant. It's the reason we teach people how to trade in our discord where they can make money no matter what's going on in the market, where they learn the skill set and the things that they need that are necessary and build a community of smart traders around them that are seeking information in alpha and sharing it together in a smart community, you can make money in any environment. There are going to be a lot of people that make great money in this bull market, in this crypto market that we're talking about, but most people don't make any money when the market goes down. It's not going to go up only forever. So what do you do? What skills are you developing to be able to break free to where, yeah, if you make some great money in the bull market, how, first of all, how do you maximize that? How do you make the most that you possibly can? Second of all, how do you keep it and make sure you don't give it back to the market, which is what most people do. Most people give 80% of their profits back because they don't know when to sell. They don't know when to buy. But then most importantly is if the market's going down into the future, think about a year from now, what are you going to be doing later on in your life? to continue to contribute to your freedom and your wealth building and your autonomy, where you're able to feel like, hey, if you've got a laptop with an internet connection, you can make money in any environment. Well, it's understanding this framework and this mental model that I'm gonna give you today that I didn't create. This is from Robert Kiyosaki. I'll put his name right here so that you can look him up if you're not familiar. Robert Kiyosaki wrote several different books. One was The Cash Flow Quadrant which teaches specifically what I'm going to talk about today. One of them, which has the cash flow quadrant in it, which is one of the first books I ever read as I started my first business roughly 17 years ago. It's called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And this framework changed my life forever. It changed the way that I saw the future. It changed the way that I managed my money. It changed how I looked at business. It changed how I looked at investing. It changed everything for me. And we're going to talk about that today. And again, the importance of why we're teaching skill sets so that you can set yourself free and break out of the mold where you don't feel like you're on a hamster wheel every day like most people do. Most people are on a hamster wheel. They're just spinning things every single day to make the money that they need to, to live off of. And then, yeah, maybe they have some little side hustle where they make some extra money on the side, whether that be trading or driving for Lyft or Uber or starting a pressure washing company, right? something on the side to make some extra money. That's great, but that's not freedom. And when you understand this quadrant, you'll understand how you can get yourself to the freedom side of what we're going to talk about today. So there's four quadrants to the cash flow quadrant. The first one is the employee quadrant. This is where you literally trade time for money. And that's a great place to start. That's where most people start, but it's a poor place to finish. That is not where you want to finish. And if you're watching this training, then that means that you are designed for more because you would have already exited out of this video. The employee quadrant is the highest taxed quadrant. You literally get taxed before you even make any income. If you've ever had a job, you know what I'm talking about. They take out taxes before they give you your check that you make for the week or two weeks or month, however you're getting paid. So this is the employee quadrant. And again, there's no freedom here. Here's where you have to, you, you have a boss, by the way. And you have to ask for things that sacrifice your freedom. Like you have to ask for time off. They may not even approve it. They tell you what hours you have to work most of the time. You don't get to choose your schedule. And if you're not there very often, you're fired. So now you have to look for another job. So again, there's nothing wrong with a job. I've had several back in, before I started business 17 years ago, I was a construction worker and I was a college student. And thank God for this material. This is what broke me out of the mold literally seven months after learning the class flow quadrant, literally seven months almost to the day. I quit the last job I ever had. I dropped out of college and just went on to build tons of different companies in different industries. And it's been a, an amazing ride over the last 16, 17 years. 
But this curriculum is what helped me. So you, you have the E quadrant. The next quadrant is the S quadrant. This is self-employed. This is where I used to think that people own a business. And they don't. See, in the employee quadrant, this is where you have a job. And in the self-employed quadrant, this is where you own a job. If you have a pressure washing company, let me ask you a question. How much money do you make if you're not pressure washing? Zero. If you're a surgeon and you're not performing surgery, how much money do you make? If you're an attorney and you're not working on a case, how much money do you make? If you're a doctor and you don't see a patient, how much money do you make? This is not a business owner. This is self-employed. It's a totally different quadrant. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. You actually get some tax breaks, which are awesome. And you have some more control because you can choose what days you work. But again, those days you're not going to get paid if you're not taking care of customers and making sales and doing all the things that you have to do in the self-employed quadrant. But if you're an employee, which most people start at, we can teach you how to trade. So you're taking some of your capital and you're putting it to work. Now, why do I, you, you may say, well, if I'm trading, I'm investing. Well, kind of, because if you're not trading, you're not making money. Does that make sense? If you're a trader and you're, tra you're not trading, then you're not going to make any money. So it is, has a self-employed component because you're in control of your schedule. You're in control of the information you're receiving. You're in control of analyzing the market. You're in control of executing a trade. You're in control of taking profits out of the market and closing trades. That's all on you depending on what you do. However, that produces more cash so that you can migrate to the right side of this quadrant. All of the freedom is on the right side. The two other parts of this quadrant are the business owner And to me, if you're going to talk about owning a business, the business is like a living organism. It should be able to acquire customers. It should be able to make money whether you're there actively managing it or not. Another way to put this is owning assets, right? If you have assets that you own and they're, they're growing and producing income for you, whether you're actively sitting there managing it yourself, this is the quadrant of a business owner. And then the last one, which is where we all should shoot for, is the investor quadrant. The investor quadrant is where you have enough money invested in, in diversified vehicles, which can include crypto, include, include a lot of different things. Real estate, you know, a crypto portfolio, it can include stocks, it can include so many different things. But as an investor, ideally in an investor quadrant, your return on the money that you've invested is more than your living expenses. So it's a self-perpetuating vehicle that produces not only enough cash flow for you to live, but more than enough cash flow for you to live so that you're growing your wealth every day, whether you're alive or dead. And that's how you break out of the rat race. That's how you break out of the matrix. The natural transgression here is to go from employee to self-employed, to cross over, to build that self-employed business over to the business category where it's big enough that it doesn't have to have you. An example would be if you had 10 guys pressure washing and you owned the company and you had a sales guy and you had an operations director, then you should have enough new customers coming in, producing cash flow, enough people going out servicing those jobs, which are taking care of the customer and making them happy, and an operations person dealing with people, profits, and problems, and then you're left over with the excess cash flow of that business. Now, that's very difficult to do. I've done it. I've had hundreds of employees. We've done hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue. We crossed over that before I was 30 years old. I'm now 36. So I understand the B quadrant, but the best quadrant with the most freedom is not the B quadrant, it's the I quadrant. Because having a bunch of employees, even if you're not the director of operations, even if you're not there every single day, you still have a vested interest in that company. You still have to look after it. So the reason we teach how to trade, and we teach so much more than that, but the reason we teach how to trade is because you can take wherever you are, whether you're in the employee quadrant right now, whether you're in the self-employed quadrant right now, whether you're a business owner, or whether you have your foot in one, two, or three of those different quadrants, we can help you take the income that you make from trading, develop a skill set where you can get paid in any market you can learn the skills necessary, and again, this is not a promise, this is not a financial guarantee, but we do have people doing it, 
that you can model and that you can learn from in a community. So it's not just you by yourself trying to figure this out on your own. It's not just you taking some course and learning it without a community that's around you. It's you learning from other people that are doing it every single day. You can look at the wins channel in our Discord. You can see people are winning. So you can take whatever quadrant you're in, learn how to extract value from the market, take that and invest it in a crypto portfolio, invest it in other things. So we're teaching you how to make money so that you can invest it to get on this right side of the quadrant. If you've ever dreamed of owning a, a big business, great. This can be a vehicle that helps you do it. If you say, that's the last thing I want, I just want to be a big investor. I just want to grow in my freedom. I want to grow in my cash flow. I want to grow my wealth. This is a perfect plan for you. It's the reason why we teach it. When you understand this cash flow quadrant, you will think of things differently. You'll think everything inside your head on how do I get to the B and the I quadrant? How do I take anything that I'm doing, any dollar that I make, any opportunity that I have, any skill I'm trying to develop? I'm not just trying to develop a skill to make more money. I'm trying to develop a skill to give me freedom and autonomy in any economic environment. And that's what we wanna help you to do. We, wanna, we don't just want you to make a bunch of money in the bull market. We want you to have the mindset on what you're doing with this capital in an end game in mind to serve your freedom so you can break out of the matrix, break out of the mold and be independent and feel confident that no matter what happens in the economy, no matter what happens in the stock market, no matter what happens in 2025 in crypto, no matter how long the bull market runs or doesn't run, you have a skill set to produce cash flow to help you to identify better investments, to grow your wealth, to grow your freedom, your autonomy, so that you can do the things that God's called you to do in your life. Look, we're dedicated to this. We have live streams in our Discord. We have mindset training like what you're on right now that's published in our Discord. They're the first people to find out about the content we publish. We have a community of like-minded people that will surround you, and you can go to discord.defiancy.finance. Again, that's discord.defiancy.finance. Hop in there. We would love to chat with you, get to know you, and help in any way that we can. God bless you, and we'll see you in tomorrow's mindset training video and in the Discord. Bye for now.